The swastika is a symbol known around the world. It was most recently used by one of the most universally hated men in history, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party. A once positive and powerful symbol was sadly defiled in the most heinous manner and is now invariably linked with death and destruction before its meaning was tarnished by the Nazis. In fact, for thousands of years previously, the swastika was an important symbol for the Hindus and the Buddhists in India and other Asian countries. In fact, to this day, you can still see the swastika in abundance on buses, taxis, and on boats apparently. It was used in ancient Greece in their art, their pottery, and their sculptures. And in Rome, we find a medallion with a swastika and also a beautiful Roman mosaic. Swastikas were also found at the once legendary ancient city of Troy. Troy existed over 4,000 years ago and archaeologists found these terracotta spheres dating back just as far. Travelling to ancient Britain now and the Druids or the Celts also thought of the swastika as a symbol of good fortune or good health. There were also certain sects of early Christians who also used the swastika. Christians such as the Teutonic Knights, a German medieval military order established in 1190 AD in order to aid Christians on their pilgrimage to the Holy Land and to establish hospitals. The name itself. Swastika is a Sanskrit word from ancient India, roughly translates as Svaskita, meaning it is, well-being, good existence and good luck. However, it is known by other names, by other cultures. In order not to start a new world war, however, I will not be attempting to pronounce these names. In 1979, a Sanskrit scholar, P. R. Sakar, said that the deeper meaning of the word is permanent victory, following extensive studies into the language. He also said that the swastika can have two different meanings. There is a positive and a negative. In Hinduism, this style of swastika represents Vishnu and the sun, and is seen as a positive symbol. This style of swastika on the right represents Kali and magic and is seen as a negative symbol. The double meaning of symbols is common in ancient traditions. For example, the symbol of the pentagram, which is viewed as being positive when facing upwards, but negative when facing downwards. The earliest evidence for use of the swastika as a sacred symbol can be found on a small ivory figurine of a bird uncovered in Mezin, Ukraine, and has been carbon dated to being over 12,000 years old. One of the earliest cultures known to have used the swastika symbol was a Neolithic culture from southern Europe in the area that is now Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, known as the Vinch culture. In Buddhism, the swastika is a symbol of good fortune, prosperity, abundance and eternity. It is directly related to Buddha and could be found carved on statues on the soles of his feet and on his heart. It is said that the swastika contains the Buddha's mind. Indeed, we can see a couple of swastikas here on the seat of the Dalai Lama, the spiritual leader of the people of Tibet. And indeed here, a beautiful Tibetan swastika. In Christianity, there are many reports that you can find the swastika on the walls of the Christian catacombs in Rome. You can also find the swastika on the window openings of the Liabella Rock Churches of Ethiopia. This is the Church of St. George, and there are ten other similar churches which have been directly cut from the bedrock. There are in fact many different examples of Christians using the swastika in various forms of art and artefacts, in mosaics and in stained glass windows. In Nordic traditions, Odin is represented as passing through space as a whirling disc or swastika, as he looks down through all worlds through the swastika. In North America, the swastika was used by the Navajo tribe in their cultural art. This piece is a rug which shows the swastikas. There are a lot of people who claim to debunk this as not being a swastika, but I feel that this is because they only know the swastika as being around from the Nazi era, which as we've just seen is not true. I wouldn't want to be the guy to argue that this and this aren't exactly the same thing. In more recent times, the swastika was a prominent symbol used by the Boy Scouts. Until 1934, it was one of the motifs of the Medal of Merit. It served as a sign of good luck to the recipient. The good luck theme here persists with another great American staple, Coca-Cola. Here we see another example of how the swastika was originally meant as a positive and lucky symbol. In ancient Greece, the swastika was used by Pythagoras under the name Tetractis, and was a symbol linking heaven and earth, with the right arm pointing to heaven and its left arm pointing to the earth. It has also been used by the Phoenicians as a symbol of the sun and was a sacred symbol to their priestesses. It is ironic and unfortunate that a symbol of life, eternity and good fortune, a symbol which was considered sacred for thousands of years, has become a symbol of such hatred. How and why 
connected so many diverse countries and cultures from across thousands of years use the same symbol and with apparently the same meaning. I don't think this is just a coincidence, and I'm not the only one. In my next video, I'll expand upon why Hitler used the swastika and what he thought it meant, and how following this thread leads us to the faint echoes of a lost civilization. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments, if you can be asked, uh, don't blame you if not, and possibly a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if not, or you don't have to do any of that. Thanks.